Why did you go past that? Oh, I haven't done this in ages, so I'm a little bit nervous, so I do apologise if I seem a bit nervous. Um, first of all, I want to ask, who knows, should you just want to see hard work? Can you put your hands up? Okay, there's a few that don't know. To be honest, I only knew about his whole story about two years ago. When I was small, um, I did hear his name as well as other names around 84 period and the 90s, but I didn't really know who he was. Um, I heard about his name and about his legacy, a little bit about his legacy, through a YouTube video, and someone was like talking so highly about him and about his speech, and I was like, why are they like really inspired about this person? And I was like, I need to go check this out. So I decided to research and look at the speech. It's a 20 minute speech you can see on YouTube and it's just phenomenal and it's so inspiring and it just, just touched my heart and I'm so passionate about this person and about his legacy. He's just like one of my, he's just, it's hard to describe how, how I feel about his work and what he's done for the farm. Um, for those who don't know a bit about him, I'll explain a bit what he's done through uh, the qualities I like about him. So um, the first quality that I like about him that inspires me is compassion. He was just like a normal guy, just like us, director of a bank, and he just decided one day to go and see why his colleagues were missing. They were captured by the Punjab police. And the compassion he had just to go and search where have his colleagues gone, um, that really inspires me. He went out of his way to do that. And then obviously he went on to search uh, for his colleagues and he found out that um, they were legally cremated and then he found out more evidence that loads of people, loads of Sikh Nordjuans um, across Punjab were being legally cremated um, by the Punjab police. So, you know, he decided to give up his life, um, his ordinary job and get into Sikh politics and become a human rights activist and fight, gather research, gather evidence and get justice for those families and those people, um, and for the CECOM really. Um, so, another quality is courage. He had a lot of courage. Um, I don't think a lot of us have courage today um, to stick up for what we believe in. Obviously, we all stick up for what we believe in, but then we don't really maintain that when we someone kind of threatens threaten us or they blackmail us and say, oh, if you don't do, if you don't agree with my point, um, X, Y will happen to you. And this guy, he still stood up and he had the courage to still do what he was doing. He was still a human rights activist despite getting threats from the job police and so many other people. He still went up and still did his work. And he did it, he just, did it? And I think a lot of us, if we were in this position, we probably would give up because we, who wants to be, we would, we appreciate life. Some of us do, some of us might not, but we don't want to give up our life. Well, not everyone, but some wouldn't want to give up their life. And they are scared of death. And I think that's something you need to really overcome. And I think he over, overcame that because he wasn't bothered if he would get killed or if he would get captured. And what really inspired me more about his courage was the fact that I think it was a speech or um, I think it was a speech that he was giving that where he mentioned that if the Punjab police asks for his address, his home address, just tell them. He wasn't hiding from them. He was like, just tell them man, where I live. I'm not bothered. I'm doing, doing right. If they are going to capture me, they're just going to capture me. That's in my destiny. Like he was just so careless about what's going to happen to him. He was just only worried about the bomb and collecting ev evidence and seeking justice and doing what a true sequel should do. And I think that's the biggest lesson that we should learn from him. Just do something that that we should do as Sikhs. It's we're Sikhs and we're supposed to be fighting for justice, doing right things. Contributing to the bomb in any form it can be any career you have, um, whether that is mark like I want to get into marketing, and if I know how to take photos, videos, I can make sicky kind of base videos, movies. There's all sorts of stuff you can 
you can always contribute to your farm in any form of whatever work you do. So yeah, he really inspires me and um, I really get um, out of words speaking about him. And I'm always watching um, Insaf's documentary, I would recommend on YouTube. Um, it's like a short documentary, about 20 minutes, about his life um, and about his work and what he did. Uh, so it's on YouTube, watch that. And there's a speech of his on YouTube as well, so I recommend you watching that. I'm always watching it, just, just to get evolved that feeling and that passion and that justice. And just evolve that feeling that, what am I doing here, just sitting at home. I need to start doing something. I need to be like him, fight for justice and do something in my life. Um, I'm going to leave you on a two minute video. It's so hard, his speech is really inspiring. There's so many good points he raises. It's so hard to pick which bit to uh, showcase to you guys. So, just show you now. And I really love what he says in there. And I think, yeah, just leave it to you. Yeah. 